Hey guys, before we get into this, I thought I should just let you know, I got a message from Nehru, one of the developers of this game, and she let me know that they have put in a new patch. Uh, someone was kind enough to do a entire proofreading of Soul Set, and so there's some grammatical uh, fixes and so forth. So if later on I'm skipping and I'm like, why is this not skipping? I've read this before. It's because... Uh, it might get stuck on the fact that, you know, a word's been changed here or there, the writing's been changed. But just wanted to give you guys a heads up. There shouldn't be any skipping right now, because I am still playing straight through Shur's Root as of this moment. But later on, doing normal ends and so forth, it might get a little sticky, but we shall see. In the meantime, thank you for the food. It was delicious. You're welcome. So who's doing the dishes? The one who's asking. Very funny. Not your maid. I wouldn't mind doing them. It's the least I could do for such a wonderful meal. No, no, Yvonne! Girl, you sit down! Now you're making me feel bad! Come on, I'll help you. You're wounded! You shouldn't be exerting yourself either! I can handle something so small as doing the dishes, thanks. Damn you guys! Give me those! It worked. <laughs> Miss Shira can be so cute sometimes. She's just too easy to provoke. Well, while Miss Shira is doing the dishes, would anyone like some tea or coffee? I'd appreciate some coffee. Likewise. I'd like some tea, please. And tea for me, too. The green kind, if there is any. Got it. What about you, Miss Marika? I would like some tea. Tea sounds good. Coming right up. The drinks will be actually a good addition. There's something I wanted all of us to talk about before we get up and leave. Oh? Oh? Alright, so... Sure was the last person we found in this mansion, so we were all present when Aphris carried her upstairs. But I'd like to know which of us woke up first, and who did they find and where? Oh. What's the point of that? The point is to establish if everyone is telling the truth, Aphris. I actually agree. I'd like to know what everyone has to say to that as well. Uh. Hmm. Marco, you found me down in the basement, and you told me there were other people in the mansion, so I couldn't have been your first find. I believe I was the first conscious person, yes. Where did you wake up? In the front yard. I was cold when I woke up. After noticing the barrier, I went inside of the mansion. Just... Hold on, before I continue, have my settings changed? I feel like the music is like really loud for some reason. Never mind. The first people I stumbled upon were Yvonne and Apris. They were both unconscious in the library. That's right. Mr. Marco shook me awake. We got to talk for a short moment and he told me to try and wake up Mr. Apris. Then he left. That's when I went down into the basement. I talked with Mr. Apris about how we couldn't remember anything. I can confirm that. I think a couple of minutes passed before Miss Shira walked into the library on her own. Yep, you two were also the first people I saw. Not long after that, Marco came running back to us. He said that he'd fa he, yeah, he said that he'd found another person, but they'd passed out on him. That's when you got carried upstairs. After that, Marco left for the basement again, and Apris went to investigate the barrier. Yvonne and I stayed with you in the hall, and... You already know the rest, since you woke up next to us. Alright. Hmm. I would like to point out that there is one thing in our confessions that puzzles me, though. Yes? I also woke up in the front yard. You did? And I saw no Marco anywhere. Meaning that you had to wake up and leave before I did, right? You never mentioned seeing me there. Because I didn't. Are you sure about that? I believe it would be hard to miss a heap of white and pink sprawled on the ground. Especially when I woke up laying pretty close to the fountain. I definitely wasn't far away behind one of those spooky trees. Are you sure you didn't outright ignore me for whatever reasons you might have had? I assure you, I woke up in the front yard all by myself. If you're accusing me of lying, do you have any proof that you're not the one who's lying? Maybe you actually woke up first and ignored me on purpose. 
These two. Okay. Okay, that's enough. If you don't stop, I will poke someone's eye out. Um. You people. How about we go out into the courtyard and try to retrace our steps? Because this is getting us nowhere. You should spend your energy on something more productive than this. Yes, Apries. We'll go. Alright, and we're outside. Here. I woke up more or less here. I can't tell you the exact spot myself. I was a little out of sorts and I don't remember many details. Suspicious. Um, this is just a thought, but all of us were really disoriented when we first woke up, weren't we? Could it be possible that either Miss Shira or Mr. Marco didn't wake up in the front yard like they think, but in the backyard instead, without even realizing it? Whoa, wait. An interesting observation, Yvonne. However, there might be a contradiction in that theory. The locked door. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The hidden wall isn't that much of an issue, since it is visible from one side only. The illusion doesn't show a wall from the kitchen side. It looks like a normal corridor from there. Meaning that either Marco or Shira could have passed it without even noticing it. However, the locked door is another issue. Unless the door was initially open. In theory, someone might have had a key in their possession and locked the door behind them, right afterwards or even later on. They could have locked the door without a key as well. Also a good observation. You know what she's trying to get at, right? If we were to stick to the theory that there are actually not one but two culprits, you would be the first suspect on the list. What? Don't give me that look. You were the one who managed to open the lock in a few seconds flat. Locking it should have been as much of a breeze for you. Uh. So, following that particular train of thought, you're either in conspiracy with Marco or with me. And who the hell said she couldn't be in conspiracy with the both of you? Didn't you two stick together when we investigated the mansion at the beginning? I knew something think Pfft, good grief. I knew something seemed weird about the way you two looked at each other. What the heck are you on about? Uh um, Mr. Apris, I believe you might be misinterpreting some signs. If you're talking about the time when he was trying to hit on me, I had no part in it. What? I wasn't hitting on you. Oh, sure you weren't. Do you think I'm deaf and blind? You... You're being delusional. Uh, forget I even brought it up. Uh Shit, did I go too far? You should follow him, Miss Shira. Yeah, yeah. As long as you'll get your mind out of the gutter. Huh? Don't even deny it. Well, that was... Huh. Poor Apris, he's surrounded. Uh. So, um... That was stupid of me. Kinda. You know? And stuff? So what I want to say is... There's blood here. I'm sorry? What? I said there's blood here. Look. Part of it seems to have sunk into the ground, but there's some of it on the grass. Holy shit! No kidding! Blood? Oh dear. Did someone get hurt here? Is it fresh? It doesn't seem to be too old. It still smears when I touch it. Ew. Apres, you walked around here a lot, didn't you? And you never noticed it. I'm surprised this guy even did. It's dark out here. That change in color is barely visible. Okay, I kind of see your point. Could it be... Cher's blood? Didn't she find me down in the basement, though? Yeah, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? Maybe someone simply died here before we even got here. I really hope nobody else is dying somewhere in this mansion while we stand around debating about the weather. Yeah, let's hope that isn't the case. 
As for earlier, I'm surprised you even worry about such trivial things. Hey, hurting someone's feelings isn't something trivial. Do you really believe something like that could have hurt my feelings? Uh, so, we're cool. I'd... Uh, oh my, why did my voice come out? That was weird. <laughs> I'd appreciate if you trusted me a tiny bit more, but I suppose... How am I supposed to trust you when you're the shadiest character out of all of us? It really breaks my heart that you see me that way, Shira. I can see that. You're so heartbroken you'd make devils cry. Whoa, dude. Are you okay? Why should I not be? You are bleeding. Huh? Don't you feel that? Check your nose. Uh, Marco? I could try and help if... Don't be ridiculous. I'm fine. It's probably just fatigue. That's weird. I thought before when this happened, it was because he had been paired up with Apris and he got somehow tangled up with Varen early on. And that was like injuries from that. But if that's not the case, then that's... Those injuries are something else. Hmm... Mr. Marco, does that mean you're tired? Have you been pushing yourself? Not really. This isn't something any of you should trouble yourselves with. Like I said, I'm fine. Okay, just... If it turns out something's wrong with you, don't hide it. If you kneel over and die without so much as a warning, I'm not going to forgive you. <laughs> Aren't you the sweet and caring type? I mean it. This is no laughing matter. I second what Shira said. I believe everyone seconds that. I swear. If you're so worried about someone bleeding, worry about Shira. I'm pretty sure she's way worse off than I am. I still wonder whose fault that is. Hmm. I mean, I think it's logical to assume I didn't stab myself on my own. Someone had to stab me. Whether it was someone from this group or not is something I have yet to figure out. That's a scary thought, you know. Not only for you, but even for the one who stabbed you. Hypothetically, if I was the one behind it, I don't even remember about it right now. If I were to suddenly recall the act, I think I'd be both confused and freaked out. I mean, I'd probably have needed to have had a reason to stab you in that case, right? But what if that reason turned out to be me being a cruel person and a murderer in the making to boot? Following that logic, nobody said you couldn't have done it in self-defense. Like, if Sho was out to get me first, you mean? Hmm. We can't deny the possibility, of course. Even if that was true, I obviously remember none of it right now. You really don't remember anything in regards to that. One would think something like that would be more traumatizing than the memory of what you ate for breakfast yesterday. So one would think. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to apply in my case. Wait. Something just occurred to me. Marco. What is it? Back in the kitchen, you said that you saw the barrier when you woke up. But you didn't get close to it, did you? How did you know that we were trapped in here, then? Uh, that's the first logical thing to assume, you know. Hmm. And I could stick to that excuse, but... The truth is... I'm actually familiar with what kind of barrier this is. Hmm. Actually, I'm just gonna pause here for a second. If this is true, shouldn't Marco have known... That it was only for keeping, like, only demons couldn't pass through the barrier? Possibly? Hmm. Why didn't you mention that earlier? See what I mean when I say you're shady? You seem to know way too many things compared to us. It's not like I can do anything about that, can I? I kept quiet about it because I didn't want to worry you. Worry us? I already hate wherever this is going. I'm pretty sure I saw such a barrier at least once in my life before, but from the outside. 
Go on. From my perspective, the barrier was up for around ten minutes. For the person inside of it, almost a whole year had passed. A whole year? Wait, that's crazy. You want to tell us? The time flows differently in here compared to outside of the bubble. So, in a sense, the rest of the world waits for us while we're in here. That would certainly explain why it's constantly nighttime. Wait, you're right. How much time have we spent in here by now? The scenery hasn't changed at all. Hey, that's actually kind of cool when you think about it. Imagine wanting to master a spell or a work of art. You could work on it for a whole year in here, but it would only take you a couple of minutes in reality. Other people would die of envy. Don't forget that you'd also leave the barrier being a year older than everyone else, though. Oh, right. So if I stayed here for 50 years, I'd get it all wrinkled and stuff. Uh, you wouldn't, actually. We wouldn't? Remember how I said I didn't want to worry you? A person has a limit for how long they can stay inside of a barrier such as this. And while a single person can stay inside of it for a whole year, I'm not sure if it works the same way when there are more people inside of it at the same time. It might actually be less than that. Less, not more? Imagine every single one of us having a specific mana pool tied to our very being. The barrier uses that mana pool to keep itself sustained. With more people, more energy is needed so the mana drains faster. And that mana pool... As far as I'm aware, it's impossible to replenish it. Once you've spent your time inside of such a barrier until you've reached your limit, that's it. If you decide to stay or go inside or one of those inside of one of those ever again from that point on, you're in big trouble. Big trouble meaning well eventually you start freezing in time yourself. You could say the barrier starts absorbing you instead of your mana pool. You become a part of the barrier, and then disappear along with it when it dissolves. Hmm. <laughs> Essentially, you die. Oh no! How do we get out? That's the tricky part. Because I have no idea. You have no idea?! After all you've told us just now?! I told you I didn't want to worry you. What was I supposed to say? Hey, better find a way out of here quick, otherwise we're all going to die. Please don't fight. Yes, calm down, you two. You're forgetting that we do have a lead. As shady as that lead is. The Soul Stone. Well, this is great. Now our life depends on a stupid piece of rock. How long do we have? Calm down. You said that a single person can stay inside of such a barrier for a year but that the time can be shortened when there's more. Does that mean two people would be able to stay inside of it for only half a year together? I'm not sure if it really works that way, but that would also be my best bet. There are six of us here, so even if we were to assume that we have six times less time than a single person, that would still make it two months. Of course, this is all just a hypothesis, so... Well then, let's hope your hypothesis is right, and it's not two days instead. Uh. Thank you for telling us about all this, Mr. Marco. Not that it helps much, other than putting our minds even less at ease. But now that we know more about the barrier itself, we can try and direct our research accordingly. You really like to hang around that library, don't you, Avon? Well, it's just that there are so many books in there. And so much knowledge. It's fascinating to me. Thank you for being so thoughtful, Yvonne. Yes, thanks for your hard work. It's nothing. Going back to the matter at hand, I have a proposition to make. Let's search for that soul stone. If we don't manage to find it in the next hour or two, we should call it a day and try our luck again after getting some decent sleep. Um... How about we skip the searching part altogether for the time being? Mr. Appris could probably use some rest, and I have the feeling that most of us are pushing ourselves at this point. I second that. I'm pretty tired by now, and I could really use a bath. I'd like that as well. 
If that's what you guys want, I won't complain. Considering we're supposed to have two months to look for it, I don't think an hour will make that much of a difference at this point either. Um, Marco, I think you're bleeding again. Are you sure you're all right? I'm... Marco! Holy crap, dude! Don't you dare die on me! Aw, they got so close in this one. Oh no, Marco, what happened? M Mr. Marco? What's wrong with him? Hell if I know. He just started bleeding all of a sudden. Oh dear, he's burning up. Wait, he has a fever? Shit, you're right. Goddamn idiot, why didn't you say anything? Well, this took a change. Thanks, Apris. We could get some water and ice to help fight the temperature down. There were plenty of towels in the bathhouse, so I could get one from there, too. Come on, Yvonne, I'll go with you. All right. I wonder what happened to him. Was Marco running around with a fever and overexerting himself this whole time? He seemed to be fine when we woke up here, didn't he? This is the first time in all the routes this has happened. Okay, this should help him for the time being. You know, you guys can go take that bath you wanted to take. I'll stay here and watch over him in the meantime. Are you sure you'll be fine on your own, Miss Shira? Yeah, yeah, don't you worry about me. Would the three of us like to take a bath together? The three of us? You mean Marco, you and me? I mean, I'm worried about Marco, but I, I guess we're still going to bathe. I wouldn't mind. It would save us time if we went in together, wouldn't it? Besides, Miss Sher could probably use some help with that wound of hers. I won't argue with that. It's settled, then. I'll be out in the backyard if you'll need me for anything. Okay. What a twist! Marco was right. It does look like a stab wound. The one that I rebound earlier, but I seem to have forgotten. Oh dear, it even goes all the way through. Not a pretty sight, huh? What matters most is that you're alive and recovering. Come on, let's clean it and patch you up. You probably shouldn't be getting into the water, sure. Yes, direct contact with warm water would be bad for the wound. Just sit on the edge and we'll help you get clean. All right. It's too bad Miss Shira couldn't join us. Well, considering Marco's condition, it couldn't be helped. I hope he's going to feel better soon. Shira doesn't seem like the easily trusting type, does she? And yet, when Marco collapsed, she was freaking out all over the place. Now that you mention it... Hmm. You think her whole demeanor might be an act? A coping mechanism of, of sorts? Don't you get the impress impression that she's nervous at times? Yeah. Now that you mention it... I think everyone's nervous. It's only natural, considering the situation we're in. I also get the feeling that Mr. Apris is shy in regards to a lot of things. Apris? Now you're really imagining things, Yvonne. I'd say he's more awkward than shy. Then again, you're the one who paired up with him. You probably saw sides of him we didn't. Does Marco seem shy to you as well? Oh no. Mr. Marco is... He seems a little lost sometimes, but he's definitely not shy about anything. What about us? How do we seem to you? You? Um, I'm not sure. Come on, try us. Don't be shy. Uh. Well, Miss Marco seems really composed and confident. I find that admirable, actually. Thank you. Really? Thanks. Yes, and Miss Sher, I get the feeling that you want to speak up at times, especially when we're discussing things in a group. 
But you're holding yourself back. Really? That's the impression you're getting. Yes. Is that true, Sher? I suppose I do have this... nagging fear of saying something stupid at times. I believe I'm just not that good at dealing with people. You don't need to worry about such things with us, Miss Cher. Uh, okay, for a first... Yvonne, you really need to stop calling me Miss. I'm pretty sure I'm younger than you are. And second... You two look really cute in those towels. It's a crime. I have trouble prying my eyes away. You don't say. Uh, see what I mean? <laughs> oh no, Miss Sure is actually really cute. Please stop. <laughs> you girls. Thank you for the company. Thank you for giving me a hand with the bandages. Don't mention it. Speaking of bandages... Hmm... What are we going to do about Mr. Marco? Miss Marco, Miss Sure, please go on without me. I still wanted to go check up on Mr. Apris. I'll let him know that the baths are unoccupied. Alright. Good luck. <laughs> Wink. Rooting for you, Yvonne. Shira? Oh, hey. Are you guys done with your bath? Yeah. Is something wrong? How's Marco doing? About that. There's... Something that really unsettles me about Marco's condition. Not only does he seem to be injured, but... Hell, I think it would be easy if you just saw it for yourself. Oh? What is going on now? Pull up his right sleeve. Oh. Are those bruises? Or what? Marco's arm is covered in bruises? The skin below his elbow is almost all purple and black. It looks macabre. This... those are bruises, aren't they? It seems that way, doesn't it? Uh, but I honestly can't even begin to imagine what a person would need to do to themselves to get injured in such a way. Place their hand in between a door and its frame while someone tried to ram it shut. Also, there are more of those on his stomach. Not as horrible looking as this one, but still. Have you been stripping him? If you hadn't noticed, he's been out cold for a while now. Of course I got worried and tried to look for anything that might be wrong with him. Only an idiot would care about his privacy more than his well-being. Either way, I would really like to take a bath, but I don't want to leave him alone while he's unconscious. Look after him for a while, will you? I won't take long. You know, sure, you were right. For someone who's up in everyone's face all the time, Shira sure seems to be acting really considerate of Marco right now. You think that despite treating Marco the way she does, she actually trusts him? Either that or... Maybe Shira's just the type of person who's actually protective of people who can't fend for themselves. Hmm. Possibility. Oh! He's awake! Ugh. Marco! Hey, easy there. You're okay. It's just us. Uh, uh, how long was I out? Around half a day. Shit. Marco, where did you get injured like this? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. You didn't have those injuries when you woke up here, did you? You seemed fine at first. I don't know. Well, take it easy and lie back down. You're burning up. We got some ice from the cold storage. This towel should help you. Shara went to take a bath. She should be back soon. 
Wait. I didn't notice this before because his hair was always in the way. But... Marco's ears have a lot of piercing holes in them. Just like... Then again, it's probably not that unusual to have your ears pierced. This might be total coincidence. I mean, Sheer also has some piercings, and I never freaked out about that. But... Marco... Huh? He wants me to lean closer? Whatever you do... Please, don't leave me alone with Sure. Why would you say that? Kya! Yvonne? That was Yvonne, wasn't it? Now what? Shit, wait! Marco told me not to... Okay, she's coming with me. Sure? Did she just jump over the railing? Girl, you're injured! She sure as hell can be fast for an injured person. Either way, that scream came from Yvonne, but... I don't know which one to go to. I mean, she said she was going to the... To tell after he could go to the baths. Eh. Let's check up on Shira first, then. Oh, right. Shira was going to the baths. But I hear footsteps. Someone's coming this way. But it sure as hell doesn't sound like Shira. What? What? Okay, we're hiding in here. Okay, I think the coast is clear. Hmm. Has Varen reared her ugly head again? Or beauteous head? Oh my. That was not that color before. This... That's blood, isn't it? Oh no. Don't tell me it's Shira's. It's me now! Ugh! What the... Who killed me? Wait! But I don't know who killed me! You can't just leave me there! But I don't know who killed me! No! Okay, well, I guess that was the wrong answer. Ah, number of silver clues. Needed to unlock Shur's true route, too. Number of red clues found in Shur's bad route, zero of one. I, can, I haven't found the green clue. There's no orange clues. All right. Okay, this is also something, uh, part of the patch. I was like, how come it's starting here? Uh, yeah, so part of the patch also, once you play through for the first time, <laughs> um, and you get an ending, you go back to where Marco finds you in the basement. So I can just save here, because we're, we're done. And uh, yeah, okay, so we got one of Shira's bad endings, so we'll have to try and get her other bad end later on, I guess, and find out what the heck is going on this time. Hope to see you over there, guys. Until then, see you later.